I developed the style of questioning with this particular group in sort of trying to ask quite open-ended questions, you know, things that can obviously, there's no right or wrong answers. In this lesson in particular, you know, it's asking about moods and colours, it's, it's all about sort of synesthesia, which they've all got a kind of grounding within. Um, and they've all got their own opinions. And I think it's very important to ans ask questions which, you know, there, there is no right or wrong answer, but obviously that I, I can probe and obviously point them in the right direction. Sure. So, for instance, tell me something a little bit about Matisse and the Thoves. Remember, we've done the Thoves and Matisse. Yes, go on, Jana. Um, they use, like, really bright colours yeah. and bold colours. Bold colours. Anything else? Anyone else? Yeah. They use, like, really bright Bold patterns as well. Really bold, bright patterns as well. Very decorative. Yes. Um, it, the mood goes with the colours, so it depends <coughs> on the mood. Excellent. And that's what I was waiting for today, OK? Is I actually want you to really, really focus on your mood of your picture. I, gu I guess this has come from me and how I've developed this over the years because of how I was uh, sort of, you know, handled within classrooms and by you know, by teachers when I was at school, because if you got a question wrong, you know, you, you felt very embarrassed and you felt very unlikely to want to answer anything in the future. And I think perhaps what I want to do is to encourage everybody to answer and to not feel uncomfortable within a classroom. And I think that is ultimately the most important thing. I mean, in terms of today, I did question a couple of students who don't usually speak at all, you know, and they actually answered. Um, they answered, you know, brilliantly, very articulately, and I was really impressed with them. Um, if I say, Ollie, if I say blues, what, what do you think about with different tones um, of blues? Sad. Sadness, OK, that's a good one. So there's no right or wrong answer really here, guys. The, the opportunity is for you to think what those colours mean. You know, that's by me trying to make them feel comfortable. I try to talk to people the way that I would like to be talked to, you know, not by a stuffy old teacher, hopefully.